So, um, if you crave pasta um, and you desire not to have wheat, um, one of the things I've been doing a lot lately, I, I tend to crave pasta in particularly Asian foods. Um, I've been doing rice pasta a lot. Um, but if you would like to have something raw, which is even better for you still, you can do a spaghetti squash or zucchini pasta when you have a spiralizer. Um, when I, a spiralizer, this is a spiralizer. Um, this little baby was, I think it was 50 bucks on Amazon. Um, there are a bunch of different kinds out there. Laura actually has another kind. Do you want to grab it? Um, and, and there's even a third kind that I've seen. Um, I chose this one because of its design um, that would work well with an apple, though I've not done it with an apple yet. <laughs> but I got it because of that, um, and I'm, I've been really pleased with it. They come with different blades, um, so this blade um, is going to make it kind of like spaghetti, um, and I haven't even used these other blades yet. I believe one of them makes it even finer. And one of it makes it into like circles. Okay. And um, so this is Laura's. Laura's was more expensive, <laughs> but hers is. But she's worth it. She's worth it, and hers is also cool. Um, so that's made out of metal. Isn't it? Yes. So see, this one works this way, where you put the squash in there, it's going to go like that. Hers works where you put the squash here, and you go around that way. Um, so there's a little bit less room for, for the squash to come out. Um, this is like a mandolin, you got to be really careful with the parts because they can be really sharp. Interchangeable parts for different thicknesses of the squat of the noodles. Um, yeah, they both work. There's another one um, that's a little more like this model, only it's kind of a container, so it's got a container to catch the noodles in, um, and then and then it's basically the same design where you're pushing down and turning. Um, so, I mean, if I had my druthers, I'd do this over the one with the container, because it's nice to be able to kind of move it along and not have your container get filled up and then have to empty the container, because you'll see that it makes a lot of noodles really fast. Um, and this one I like, because the noodles can just kind of trail off and I feel like I'm Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I might start talking with my hands with it. more. <laughs> I've had that other one, like container. Yeah, I would recommend it. Mine broke. And then it did get full, and then it never stayed standing. It would always do the vegetable, it would fall over. So, so um, these zucchini and squash are from our um, little adventure <laughs> foray. We went up to, there's a farmer's market at Louisville that had, um, at least the last Saturday that we went, the first time we've ever gone, had basically two stands with fresh produce. Um, and, <laughs> but they had zucchini and summer squash, um, lots of it, which is great. So um, when you're doing a spiralizer, it's nice if it's pretty straight. So I, there's actually a summer squash that's still in the fridge that's kind of crooked, um, and I, I'm not sure how I'm going to use that with this, so I decided not to bring it out. <laughs> but shorter noodles, shorter noodles, right? Um, but you do want you can use it on anything that's a little bit solid. Um, so I was just watching. Um, Yamaya, David's wife, has created a DVD set of all different kinds of raw food recipes. And so I was watching her Italian Delights tonight, just in case there were any other little tips I could pick up. And she did um, beets, so she did a beet noodles. Um, Laura got a great recipe for pad thai that used a jicama. So mm -hmm. jicama noodles, kind of spicy. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Carrots, wow. too. Carrots, mm -hmm. done carrots on it, yeah. So, um, yum, 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 yum. Um, and particularly in the summertime when these fruits and vegetables, or these vegetables in particular, are available, um, it's just a nice way of eating them so it's not the same old, same old. Mm -hmm. um, because it really changes the taste of it and, and your kind of mental appreciation of what you're eating when it's in a different form. Um, and I like noodles. I like them not a lot. So I just stick this baby on here. It's got little prongs for the end. And then this little handle thing. Um, Fana. Um, this little handle is so that I can keep applying pressure as I'm turning. Is that right? Like backwards from now. I think I'm used to doing this. Um, but you can see it's making very long noodles. Really 
fast and it has a little core that comes out, which is why it would actually work well with um, an apple. So you wouldn't have to core the apple. Lots and lots and lots of noodles. And invariably there will be a little bit of an end. And really long noodles that you'll end up wanting to cut because <laughs> you can't wind that around your fork. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'll do a summer squash next and we'll just have a mix of noodles. And I mean, you can eat the core, you can play with your food. Um, <laughs> So Yermaya's recipe says two cups of walnuts, which I did, three large red bell peppers, which I actually did one large red bell pepper and then a bunch of small orange and yellow bell peppers. But the point is sweet bell peppers, red, orange, yellow, don't matter. Um, a half a cup of lemon juice. Um, and she says two cups of cilantro. And we mm -hmm. happen to have really fresh basil growing in our garden. So I did that instead. Nice. Um, and this is the kind of recipe where you can really play with it. Um, in fact, I tasted this and I'm like, oh, it's got lots of possibilities. Like I could throw in some garlic and I could do this and I could do that. So you can really change it up a lot. Um, and then a tablespoon of sunflower salt. And blend it. I mean, it's that simple. Blend it. Um, I was watching her video tonight and she, at the time she made the video, did it in a food processor instead of a Vitamix. And she did the walnuts and the salt first, so it was more like a flour. Um, and then she added the lemon juice and the bell peppers and the cilantro. Um, but it doesn't look any different to me. It worked perfectly well. Normally I would do like one, maybe two squash for the two of us. Um, it, again, a lot of these foods, I know there's something about raw foods and superfoods, they feel really filling to me. Um, I, don't, I don't require a lot of food with them. First, my first raw food um, adventure was when I was in Seattle, um, and it was some kind of it was a zucchini pasta and a marinara, and I spent like hours in the kitchen making this thing because I didn't have a spiralizer, and um, and I ate it and it tasted okay, but I was like, what's the, I mean, what's the big deal about this whole raw food thing? I didn't get it. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't be interested in raw foods if I didn't have the right tools and if I didn't have chocolate bliss as a staple. Um, a bit of hair with me. Well, I mean, because it, 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 it's like the quick easy. I mean, particularly yeah. if you're hungry and you don't want to cook, right. I can go have a shot of bliss and then I actually feel better. I, I don't feel like I'm starving, and then I can think about what do I want to, what oh, do I feel like want. making? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know, I still eat cooked food. I, I vary on how much cooked food I eat. I tend to crave it more at the end of the day. Um, so you do, too. do too. Yeah. Um, and actually, a friend of mine was doing some raw till dinner diet that I guess some um, Hollywood people, you know, had made popular or whatever. And she was losing weight with it. And that makes sense to me. It's like, you know, balance is totally yeah, exactly. fine. And um, Because if you're 100% raw, then you're wanting to make sure that you're having the right mineral components mm -hmm. and, and that you have enough heat in your diet. So you use peppers, like the fiesta mole, so uh, that you have, so that you're not damp and cold. Um, interesting. Or you can just have a cooked meal in the evening, <laughs> like I do. <laughs> they get a fiesta mole on it, and away I go. This makes such good pasta when we had, when we had zucchini in our garden, because that's true, we left and died in heat. Um, <laughs> oops, and for lack of water. Anyway, when we had our fresh zucchini, fresh from the garden, I spiralized it, I put olive oil and fish oh, oil yeah. on it, and that was it. I really, and actually took a little basil from the garden, and that was all that I desired on it.